Good morning. Uh, today we're going to work on a related rates problem. I'll read the problem and then post it across the video. Uh, this uh, problem is actually titled a balloon and a bicycle, so maybe I'll put that in there. Okay. Anyway, the problem is a problem. Uh, a balloon <laughs> is rising vertically above a level straight road at a constant rate of one meter per second. Just when the balloon is 65 meters above the ground, a bicycle moving at a constant rate of 17 meters per second passes under it. How fast is the distance between the bicycle and the balloon increasing three seconds later? So we have a picture here and uh, this we're actually this is the bicycle three seconds later after it passes directly below the balloon when it uh, uh, passes directly below the balloon, it's, the balloon is 65 meters above the uh, ground and the bicycle is moving at 17 meters per second, which is really, really fast for a bicycle. But anyway, I changed the metric, so that's why it sounds like that. But the numbers work really well. So anyway, um, so let's label everything that's changing. Uh, one thing that's changing is the height of the balloon. So let's just call it H. Everybody likes that, you know, H. Um, the bicycle is changing. Um, let's just call it B uh, for bicycle. The bicycle is that, that, that length, the length between this point directly below the balloon and this bicycle is changing. It's B. And the distance between uh, the balloon and the bicycle is changing as well. Um, let's just call it, well, let's not call it D. Um, let's just call it Z, uh, just short notice, call it Z, it's changing as well. So now we can decide what we were given. And uh, we were given a couple of rates of change. We were given a uh, balloon is rising above a level straight road at a constant rate of one meter per second. So that tells us that one, I mean D, the, the rate of change of H, so DH, dt equals one meter per second. And uh, then we were also given the fact that the bicycle is moving at a constant rate of 17 meters per second. So we can say db dt equals, uh, I'm gonna rewrite this below really quickly. Uh, just running out of room there, so I'll rewrite all this. But anyway, so we're also given db dt equals 17 meters per second. Now we want to say what we want to find, and we want to find dz dt um, when. Uh, y equals what? If it if it beginning uh, when y when we pass directly below the balloon balloon I'm sorry when h uh, I worked this differently earlier so when h equals the height of the balloon is 65 feet when the uh, bicycle passes directly beneath it. And three seconds later, it's going to be 60, I've said feet, meters, 65 meters when the, when the uh, bicycle passes directly beneath it. So it'll be 68 meters when uh, the three seconds later, because it's rising at a rate of one meter per second. And that actually like kind of cures a problem we might have later because we want to find dz dt when h equals 68 meters. So uh, what's the equation we want to use? Well, everything's changing and we have a right triangle here. So I'm going to say uh, h squared plus b squared equals z squared, the legs of the triangle, the sum of the uh, legs squared of the legs of the right triangle equals the hypotenuse squared. So now we'll just take the derivative of both sides of this with respect to t and we get 2h dh dt plus 2b db dt equals 2z 
dz dt. Uh, we want to solve for dz dt. Also, there's a common factor of 2 across the board here, so we can actually just get rid of those right now to make our lives simpler. So, dz dt equals uh, h dh dt plus b db dt all over z. Now, um, all we need dz dt is a value for h. Well, we have that. We figured that out a second ago. Uh, we have a value for dh dt, it's just one meter per second, uh, plus a uh, value for b. Well, we can get a value for b. We get a value for b by multiplying uh, 17 by 3. So 17 times, because the bicycle has been moving at a rate of 17 meters per second for three seconds, so it'll be gone at a. Uh, uh, a distance of 17 times 3, so 17 times 3 is 51 meters, so plus 51 times, and we also have, that was given to us, 17, and we'll divide that by z, and z is the square root when h equals 68, it's going to be the square root of 68 squared plus 51 squared, so z equals the square root of, let's see, I worked it out earlier, but why not? 68 squared plus 51 squared equals square root of 7, or well, equals 7225. And then that's a perfect square. Aren't these numbers nice? So z equals 85 meters. So dz dt equals uh, 51 times 17 plus 68 divided by 85, and we get 11 meters per second.